Hi everyone, welcome to the next part of the tutorial reversing with HyperDVG. In the previous uh, part, we see how what, what exactly this debugger is and we compare it with other debuggers like WinDVG. In this part, we're gonna see the basic concepts about this debugger and the concepts that you need to know before start using this debugger. After that, uh, we start attaching to the HyperDVG to debug a system. Okay, uh, in this session, we're gonna learn about basic concepts that are in uh, the basic hybrid division concepts like events, actions, uh, different actions are uh, a script, break, or custom code. We're gonna talk about conditions, uh, different command formats in hybrid division and events format. And we also see different subsystems of this debugger and uh, we're gonna learn about operation modes in HyperDVG like VMI mode, debugger mode and transparent mode. At last, uh, we start building uh, HyperDVG and we attach to HyperDVG in a local debugging area or in a TCP or serial debugging. Okay, let's see uh, these concepts. Everything in HyperDVG is an event. Like uh, every incident that happens in your system is event. For example, breakpoint is an event. EPT hooks are events. System syscall hooks are also events. And most of the uh, commands that start with exclamation mark or bang, uh, almost all of them are uh, events and probably future features are also based on events. Uh, events uh, might consist of zero to unlimited number of actions. And these events are either conditional or unconditional. I, I, I will explain each of them to you. Classic debuggers like WinDVG and other debuggers uh, have everything. Uh, for example, whenever a breakpoint happens, just the entire system is halted and waiting for uh, for a command. This is also true about uh, HyperDVG. HyperDVG has a has an option or has an uh, has an action uh, that is called break, and it halts everything. The second option is uh, S script. This is a powerful option. Uh, I will explain about it. And the third option is also running custom assembly codes. Uh, so we have three basic uh, actions, break, S script, and custom codes. So let's see each of them in details. Uh, as I told you before, break is uh, exactly like classic debuggers. <laughs> Everything is paused and HyperDVG guarantees that nothing, no, no instruction will uh, get executed into the uh, guest or into the debugger without the debugger's permission. We have the same thing in other debuggers, but uh, another powerful feature or another powerful action of this debugger uh, is a script. A script helps you to uh, view parameters, create logs from uh, view parameters and the system state, the overall system state, like different registers, memory, and tens of other uh, features. It's custom language uh, that are designed uh, for this debugger and is exactly like other programming languages, like it, it, it has uh, if statements for statements or loop statements or other things like this and the thing about this debug this S script uh, is that it uh, comp it's compatible compatible with uh vmx root mode it's like uh, everything is executed in the vmx root mode in the debugging so you have a higher privilege and nothing is communicated between the debugger and the debugger we have a complete uh, we have a complete session uh, and uh, we will explain s scripts in details later in this series another uh, action for hyper dvg is custom codes custom codes uh, is a, also a powerful feature that gives you the ability to run your uh, custom assembly codes uh, whenever a special event is triggered, like uh, you define some assembly codes and after that, whenever the event is triggered, uh, your codes, uh, your assembly codes will, uh, will execute uh, 
in, for example, VMX root mode, which is the highest available uh, permission uh, in this debugger. Uh, we also have conditions uh, and conditions are exactly like custom codes. They are assemblies and uh, if we, at last if you put zero on uh, Rx register, uh, then the, def the uh, debugger assumes uh, that the event should be ignored and uh, the event other actions could not be executed. So it's a uh, level be uh, before uh, the actions uh, if the conditions are not met then the actions will never get a chance to get executed into the system so but but if you uh, return anything other than zero in rx register then uh, the action our actions are performed as i told you we might have uh, zero or uh, unlimited number of actions like it's like uh, an event can have two uh, scripts or one uh, script one uh, custom code and uh, eventually break the system i will explain it in details later also if you are not really convenient with using uh, custom code uh, assemblies you can also use uh, the high level script engine conditions like if else and else if uh, to for example ignore an event or ignore uh, a special action uh, for an event or something like this but uh, in terms of performance uh, definitely the uh, custom codes is uh, better uh, than running an script in hyper dvg we have three uh, exactly uh, like WinDVG. Uh, we borrowed the command format uh, the commands format from uh, WinDVG because it makes it easier for users to adapt with uh, this <laughs> debugger uh, hyper dvg has three types of commands like WinDVG, and these commands uh, are regular commands meta commands and extension commands uh regular uh, commands uh um, something that they these commands won't start with anything uh and it's like test uh and uh, they will apply in the debugging session uh, most of them this is not true about all of the commands individually also it's not also true about uh individual in all the aspects but these uh, mostly these regular commands apply to the debugging session and uh, <clears throat> some of them are con controlling and getting information from the debuggy or the debugging car uh, target there's also a meta command uh, meta commands are prefixed with a dot these commands apply uh, to the debugger itself it's not uh, applying into the debuggy but it's uh, applies uh, it applies to the debugger and, uh, yeah it's a uh, simple uh, controlling the debugger itself. Mm -hmm. uh, another important uh, commands are extension commands. Almost all of the events, uh, not all of them, but uh, um, a good portion of them are uh, start with uh, exclamation mark. And uh, most of the events are uh, from these types of commands events all of the events in hyper dvg follow the same rule or the same syntax for uh the the way that you can write it uh as i told you events are extension commands and uh event have uh, some parameters that are uh, the same for all of them these uh, parameters are like pid or the process id that uh uh, specifies a uh, process id that this uh, event should only be triggered in the case of that process id we also can specify core or the core id or which core is responsible uh, when uh, whenever the event happens on which core the event should be triggered it's also some uh, it applies some conditions we have also codes which is exactly uh, the custom code, custom assembly codes action that I, uh, that I talked about it before. We will see uh, some examples from this.
we also have uh, conditions conditions are also assembly codes all of them are in hex hexadecimal format and uh, these conditions uh, are uh, about conditional or unconditional events we have also the tag uh, script uh, which is uh, which specifies the script engine codes that uh, should be executed in the uh, target debuggy and we also have IMM or immediate messaging mechanism mechanism uh, I will explain it later but uh, some other uh, event specific parameters uh, might also be added to this list in the future okay now let's see some examples as you can see uh, in this uh, example which is a command which is a system a syscall or system call command it starts with an exclamation mark which shows that it's an extension command after that we can see uh, the command itself it's syscall uh, then each uh, event might have a specific uh, parameter related uh, to the to that event here's the uh documentation of hyper debugger as you can see you can go through the different uh, extension commands we also have debugging commands meta commands and uh most importantly uh extension commands each of them are specific here specified here and uh, for example for the syscall let me uh, yeah here it is <laughs> it explains uh, about the basic syntax that uh this command for example uh, for the syscall uh, the system call number is specified so if we uh, see it in a slide uh 0x55 or 55 is the syscall number it also explains about uh, the parameters and uh, what are these parameters and most of them are the same for the events for example as i as i told you in the slides we have pid core imm or another thing that are, that are not specified in the slides like buffer and a script condition or core okay let's return to the slides uh and see it again uh, 0x55 uh, is uh, the parameter to the command uh, we also specify the PID which means that only if uh, everything in hyperdivision is in hex format for example like uh, if you just uh, write 55 then it's interpreted as hex so nothing uh, nothing is uh, in other formats like decimal uh, in this example I specified that if the process that uh, execute the syscall is b40 or hexadecimal form of b40 its process id is b40 then if the 55 syscall is executed then an event should be triggered and this event has an action which is with which its action is a script and in this action uh, the user tries to print uh, I'm called inside the script uh, message you just print it as you can cl clearly see that this script is uh, the action itself I can also specify other actions for this uh, event too another event and first of all let me show you its documentation it's ept hook uh ept hook puts the hidden breakpoint 0x, 0xcc i will explain about these hooks and how how they work and how they implement it and how we can use it later so don't worry if we don't uh, don't have any idea about this yet uh and uh, i will explain it through later but for now that we want to just see that the first parameter specifies the address the address where we want to put uh put the hook or the ept hook so it's a virtual address and exactly like windwg we specify uh, uh, the command itself it's an extension command so it starts with an exclamation mark 
after that i specify a parameter which is the address the virtual address of where i want to hook which is ntx allocate pool with tag it's the name of a uh, name of a function in uh, windows kernel uh nt bank or nt exclamation mark means that it comes from uh, nt module and the function name is x allocate pool with tag you, you definitely are familiar with this but for those who are not familiar probably might be not familiar i will explain Another thing is core, I specify that only on the second core or the uh, if this EPT hook happens on uh, the second core, then uh, we should start checking uh, for the conditions. And uh, the condition itself is uh, assembly code. Uh, this assembly code just specify, uh, if, if I want to disassemble this code, it's, uh, it's like, x or rx uh, rx which uh, puts zero uh, or clear every bit uh, or, or it clears every bit of the rx register and then it returns make sure to have a return uh, on your assembly code because there might be undefined behavior if you don't specify a ret as you can see, uh, it always returns zero, so the code here will never get never get a chance to get executed because we, we don't check anything. We just uh, clear uh, the RX. It's just an example. It might uh, it might not have uh, any meaning, but it's just an example. After that, uh, we specify the code, which indicates a custom code. And in the custom code, I execute two no operations and no operations, and uh, finally I return. So I put the uh, <coughs> the hexadecimal code for this uh, uh, this assembly code here. 